Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your singles love reading for April 2019. If you would like to win a private reading, the information is linked below. If you would like to book a private reading, the information is also linked below. Um, I also want to mention on my Etsy I have my intention bracelets, which I keep mentioning in every single video. These are four dollars each or three pounds free international shipping i really wanted to make them available for as many people as possible because i think the effects of these are just incredible and so underrated um, for those of you that have already purchased them thank you and i hope that you see the results that these bring i just think that they're very very special i've handmade all of them lots of them are available all on my Etsy. So this one is for warding off the evil eye. So you tie these on, um, you can shower in them, um, you can do your daily activities in them, but they are essentially there to protect you or to boost certain parts of your life. They're all spiritually charged. I think I already mentioned that. Um, and there's lots of different ones. So there's one for Twin Flame, Soulmate and Love. Um, we have the New Moon and Full Moon Intention Bracelet here as well. Um, there's ones for Korea. We've got Health, Happiness, Finances. So lots and lots of different ones there. Let's get started with your reading Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is going to be for Singles Love for April 2019. Okay, let's start. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Moon card. Ace of Wands. Magician. Wow. Hang man. We have a lot of major arcana as well. We have three major arcana so far. Four of Cups. A lot of thinking, Capricorn. A lot of thinking. So, I'm seeing that there can be offers from, from people. But I am seeing you essentially taking space, taking time out for yourself, specifically with the hangman, um, a lot of space for yourself, time to think, think about what it is that you want, which can only be a positive thing, especially with the hangman. Hangman is supported by Neptune, uh, which is all about spiritual thinking. It's all about growth. And it's all about uh, healing as well. And I'm also seeing with the magician here, you can really manifest what it is that you want. The magician is also about intellect, which I think, especially in April of 2019, this is a great time to grow. It is a great time to think about goals and what it is essentially that you want, whether you want to move forward in love or you want to self-love and take real time for yourself and to really grow within yourself which can only be a positive thing, especially if you are working on yourself. It can only enhance future relationships that you have. So I'm seeing that you can manifest a relationship here, especially with the magician. It's very, very much possible, but I am seeing that you're taking quite a bit of space and time for yourself to really reflect on what it is that you want. Again, another card of reflection, the Four of Cups. This is about someone potentially um, offering you something. Could be a date, could be a relationship, um, could be uh, you know going out with them. Um, but you're again, you're just taking a little bit of space and you're reflecting on yourself. Again, with the Ace of Wands, we do have this olive branch being offered out to you, this wand being offered out to you. So this could be um, in many forms. It could be communication. It could be a date. Um, you know, do you want to see me? That kind of stuff. Um, so I am seeing, again, this is a thinking period for you where you're going to be wondering whether this is something you want to do, whether it's a path that you want to take. Um, and just sort of trying to find the light within the dark and sort of find the answers is what I'm seeing. This could be to do with, you know, whether you think this is the right person uh, for you to be involved with. So I'm seeing that there can be some challenges in the month of April um, in regards to the situation where you're trying to move um, and you're trying to um, go forward with things, but you're still a bit wobbly. You're not so sure. So let's see what other messages we can pick up on this situation with you, Capricorn. Well, okay got the emperor so this situation and especially this month is going to lead you to be very much um, 
in power with yourself, working on your emotions, okay? I'm seeing the Five of Cups here as working on your emotions, because fives are all about change in tarot, and here we see a person that's sort of wallowing in sadness, but we are also seeing that the Emperor has a lack of emotion, so it's almost like you're working on yourself, and I feel like you're working more on your emotional sense, but you're, you're going to be in power, you're really going to be quite in control of yourself at the end of April as well, um, and fixing and changing these um, these sort of wobbles that you have. So you are going to be standing much more in your power. Five of Cups is about sadness and wallowing, but it's a situation that you're going to be able to resolve. So let me find a Lover's Oracle card. Emperor is also Aries. Okay, that just fell out, so we're going to take that one. We have Power. I told you. I told you so. <laughs> so... You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Again, this is pretty much what I said about you perhaps being offered something and not necessarily taking it but taking more time to sort of reflect on yourself. But you are going to have power and I said that with the Emperor, the Aries card. So yeah, you instinctively know what is right because you are, you know, you're taking that step. Um, and you are going to be sitting in your power. So that, again, is very, very, very positive, Capricorn. Um, really enjoyed doing this reading for you. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, Capricorn.